Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to show you some examples of finding limits involving fractions. The first limit is limit of 1 over x minus 1 over 5 all over x minus 5 and x approaches 5. For finding a limit, the first step is usually to substitute the value that x approaches to. So if we plug in 5 for x, if we want to find this limit with direct substitution, then we would have 1 over 5 minus 1 over 5, which is 0. And denominator is also 5 minus 5, which is 0. So direct substitution doesn't help to find this limit. So how we can find this limit? The problem that here we have is that we have fractions in numerator. And we have to try to get rid of those fractions. One way for finding this limit is to do a common denominator between the fractions in the numerator. But the easier way that you can find this limit is to multiply the bottom and the top by the common denominator. What is the common denominator between the two fractions 1 over x and 1 over 5? The common denominator is simply multiply 5 by x. So we are going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 5x. Why we are doing this? Because we want to get rid of the denominators, the denominator in 1 over x and 1 over 5 by multiplying these fractions here and here. By 5x, we can get rid of the fraction in numerator. And then, simply, we can find this limit. If we multiply 5x in the bracket, like this, 5x times 1 over x, so we have 5x times by 1 over x. Instead of really multiplying 5x in the 1 over x, you can cancel x from the bottom with x from the top, and so it equals 5. Or if you prefer, you can say it is 5x all over x, then cancel x with x, and it is again 5. So by multiplying 5x in 1 over x, we get only 5. So numerator is 5 minus, what is 5x times by 1 over 5? 5x times by 1 over 5. Again, 5 with 5 cancels. You can cancel the common term between the top and the bottom because we have multiplication and in multiplication of fractions, we can do this. So what remains is only x. So 5x times 1 over 5 is x. But don't forget, we have that negative in the middle. So 5 minus x. But attention, in the denominator, it's not a good idea to distribute this 5x in the bracket like this. Do not foil it at all. Keep it as x minus 5 times 5x. Now, by comparing the expression in the numerator with the expression in the denominator you can see that we have a common term simply factor a negative from 1, 5 minus x if you plot a negative from 5 minus x it would be x minus 5 when from this expression we plot a negative 5 becomes negative 5 and negative x is x but attention, instead of writing negative 5 plus x, simply you can write x minus 5. Instead of writing x as the second term, I am going to write it as the first term. And instead of writing negative 5 as the first term, I am going to write it as the second term. So negative 5 plus x is the same as x minus 5. And don't forget to put x approaches 5. Now by comparing numerator and denominator, we can cancel x minus 5 from the top and the bottom. So then we have only negative 1 over 5x as x approaches 5. 
now by direct substitution the limit is negative 1 over 5 times x but x is approaches 5 so 5 times 5 and it is 25 so this limit is equal to negative 1 over 25 let me show you another example we want to find limit of 1 over 1 plus x minus 1 over 1 minus x all over x as x approaches 0. Again in this limit the problem is those fractions and we have to try to get rid of them. Maybe you think it's a good idea to do a common denominator. Yes you can find this limit with common denominator in top but the easier way is to get rid of the fractions instead of doing a common denominator. How we can get rid of the fractions? By multiplying the top and the bottom by the common denominator between 1 plus x and 1 minus x. We are going to multiply the top and the bottom by 1 plus x times 1 minus x. So we multiply all of these expression by this and of course because we multiply the top by that we have to do the same thing by the bottom otherwise we have changed the question but we want to keep the original question but we want to get rid of the denominator so we are going to multiply the numerator and denominator now look at this what happens in denominator we are not going to do anything we just write whatever is in the denominator x don't forget we have x here and then 1 plus x and 1 minus x when we distribute this in the first term what happens 1 plus x with 1 plus x here they cancel each other what remains only 1 minus x so then we have 1 minus x now by multiplying this in the second fraction 1 minus x and 1 minus x they cancel each other what remains only 1 plus x but don't forget this middle negative here so we would have negative of 1 plus x now look at this new limit which we have here now here we don't have any fraction at all and now simply we can find this limit only you need to simplify numerator look at this we have 1 minus x so this expression is actually 1 minus x distribute this negative in the bracket then we have minus 1 minus x don't forget this minus is for all of this bracket so minus 1 minus x the 1 with negative 1 cancel each other we have negative x and negative x so numerator would be negative 2x and in the denominator we have x times 1 plus x times 1 minus x as x approaches 0 let me clean a bit here now by comparing numerator and denominator simply you can see that x is common term by cancelling x we have limit of negative 2 over 1 plus x times 1 minus x as x approaches 0 now that we have cancelled the common term between the top and the bottom by direct substitution we can find this limit if we plug in 0 for x here and here the first bracket would be 1 plus 0 attention x approaches 0 so this would be only 1 so we have negative 2 over 1 the other bracket is also 1 and so the limit is negative 2 
let me show you another example we want to find limit as h approaches 0 of 2 plus h to the power of negative 1 minus 2 to the power of negative 1 all over h maybe first when we look at this limit we think we don't have any fraction but actually we have fraction but they are not written in their fraction form attention when we have something to negative power it actually is 1 over that expression whatever is here goes to the denominator so we can understand why we have fractions because 2 plus h to the negative 1 is actually 1 over 2 plus h and the second term 2 to the negative 1 is actually 1 half so we want to find limit of 1 over 2 plus h minus 1 over 2 all over h as h approaches 0 for finding this limit similar to the previous questions that we did we have to get rid of the denominators what are the denominators the denominators are 2 and 2 plus h so we have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2 times 2 plus h so then we have limit h approaches 0 let me rewrite the limit again here so we are going to multiply the numerator all of the numerator by 2 plus h times 2 and also don't forget to multiply the denominator by the same thing now if we distribute this in the bracket in numerator we have limit h approaches 0 by multiplying this all of this by the first fraction the 2 plus h with 2 plus h cancels and only 2 remains minus when we multiply this in the second fraction 2 with 2 cancels and only 2 plus h remains so 2 minus 2 plus h we have in numerator and in the denominator we are not going to distribute anything and we keep it as it is so we have h times 2 plus h times 2 what we have here look at this we have 2 minus 2 minus h don't forget again the negative is for all the brackets so we have 2 minus 2 minus h the 2 with 2 cancel each other and only negative h remains in the top in the bottom we have h times 2 plus h times 2 as h approaches 0 now again we have a common term as usual between the top and the bottom what is that h if we cancel h from the top with h from the bottom we have this limit negative 1 over 2 plus h times 2 h approaches 0 now if you plug in 0 for h this equals to negative 1 over 2 times 2 4 so the limit is negative 1 over 4 limit of this expression as h approaches 0 is negative 1 fourth let me show you one more example we want to find limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over x plus h to the 2 minus 1 over x to the 2 all over h attention by direct substitution if you plug in 0 for h denominator is 0 numerator would be 1 over x2 minus 1 over x2 it is also 0 so direct substitution doesn't work to find this limit similar to the previous questions what we have to do we have to multiply the top and the bottom by the common denominator between these two fraction we are going to multiply all the numerator and the denominator by x plus h to the 2 times x2 and don't forget to put same thing for denominator by doing so we have limit h approaches 0 in denominator we have h times x plus h to the 2 times x2 
What happens in the numerator? If we multiply this in the first fraction, x plus h to the 2 with x plus h to the 2 cancel each other. What remains? Only x to the 2. Minus, if we distribute this expression in the second fraction, now x2 and x2 cancel each other. What remains? Only x plus h to the 2. So minus x plus h to the 2. So when we have in our limit fractions, try to get rid of the fractions. Now is the time to simplify numerator here. Let me show you how we can simplify that here. If you know the identity for finding this, it would be great. And you can find simply that this equals to x2 plus 2xh plus h2. If you know the identity, you know that this equals to this. But if you don't know the identity, don't worry. You can find it by simply multiplying x plus h by itself. But of course, it needs more time to simplify it. So I'm going, I'm supposing that you don't know the identity, so I'm going to show you how you can simplify this expression. We have x2 minus x plus h times x plus h. Then we have x2, x to the 2 minus, distribute this in the second bracket, foil it. x times x would be x to the 2 x times h, h times x, and h2. Now look at this. x2 and negative x2 cancel each other. Don't forget this negative here is for everything in the bracket. So finally, what remains after we cancel x2 with x2? After canceling x to the 2 with x to the 2 with negative x to the 2, we have only negative 2xh, xh and xh is 2xh. With this negative, it would be negative 2xh and minus h2, so minus h to the 2. So finally, numerator is negative 2xh minus h2. Let's back to our question. So when we simplify the numerator, we have limit of negative 2xh minus h2 all over h times x plus h to the 2 times x2. Between negative 2xh and negative h to the 2, we have a common term. What is common between these two terms? h. So we can pull out h from these two terms. If we factor h from these two terms, we have h times negative 2x minus h. The h from the top with h from the bottom cancel each other. What remains in the top? In the top then we have limit of negative 2x minus h and in the bottom we have x plus h to the 2 times x2 as h approaches zero. Now if we plug in 0 for h the numerator would be only negative 2x. Attention h approaches 0 so replace 0 replace every h with 0. In the denominator, then we have x2, this would be x2, times another x2, it would be x to the 4. So this limit equals negative 2x over x to the 4. But actually, you can simplify your final answer and write it as negative 2 over x to the 3. If you cancel 1x from the top with 1x from the bottom, the answer of this limit would be this negative 2 over x to the 3. I hope you liked this video. If you like this video, please subscribe in my channel for watching more videos like this. Thank you for watching.